Tech, what are you doing, Team Tech? It's about testing uh, acidity levels in different kinds of food juices. Raise your voice. It's testing acidity levels in different kinds of food juices. Okay, different fruit juices, and he's testing the acidity of different fruit Can juices. Can you name them, the so fruit juices? give us the names of each one. Apple, tomato, grape, orange, and lemon. Okay, lemon. test the uh, apple first. Right. Clearly acidic. Yeah, acidic. They're all acidic. Oh, so all fruit juices are acidic. Yes. Acidic, but how how acidic are they? How much? Uh, it's acidic. written here. Apples are three point three five four. Okay, what are those? What are those numbers? What are those numbers? What do we call them? The pH, pH values. PH values. Okay. okay, so if the number is is lower, what does that tell us? That it's bit more basic than it is acidic. More ba acidic. Less acidic. If the number is lower, yeah. like it's more acidic. It's more acidic. acidic. Yeah, you yes. name very right. That I means it's more acidic. So the most acidic juice is. So this orange juice. Orange uh, juice. Orange juice. Okay. Then A and then B are proving today is about the production of alcohol and how can it be how can it be used? How can it be used as a fuel? The first stage of our experiment is the production of alcohol through the fermentation process. The fermentation process is, is simply as you can describe is the is the usage of fruits or vegetables along with yeast for the production of an alcohol mixture, which can be later distilled. Can be later distilled to have 100% alcohol. Alcohol can be used as a fuel, which is much better, which has a, a cleaner combustion process than a petroleum uh, of 91 and 95. As we can, we are gonna uh, have a comparison right now between the cotton wool and alcohol. Uh, very sooty, smoky uh, flame. Yeah. Cotton wool and cotton wool and petroleum 95. And some air pollution. As we can see, <laughs> clean burning fuel. Okay, can you put this uh, in, the, in the shade? Because okay, we can't can, see the flame. Yeah, you can clearly see there's a clean, clean fuel, and these are the dirty fuels we use every day yeah. in our cars. As you can, if we like look carefully into, into the cotton that we use, soaked in different, uh, different fuel, the cotton soaked in petroleum uh, 95 is Barbecue. much affected by the by the burning. Why the, the cotton soaked in alcohol has not been affected by the by the flames? Okay, cool. So we're gonna clap a bit with two. Okay. Straight out. We suspend four for one grams too. We see how many drops of water it can last. How many drops of water what? It can last. Okay. Before the strips. I'm, I'm, I'm. Uh, yeah. Absorbance, yeah, you come at the. Uh, oh, this is the stamp. Okay, yeah. So, how strong it will be? Okay. okay. One, One, two, two five, five. Three, five. Oh, three drops. Okay. okay. Let's go. Let's try. Uh, okay. The more, they're uh, fine and clean, so the same. Okay. Okay. So theoretically speaking, they should be the same strength. Theoretically speaking, they should be one, <laughs> one, two, two, two three. Oh, okay. So same thing. Okay. So, the theory. We're gonna connect the, the plastic terminal to the copper, and then we're gonna terminal to the aluminium. So we're gonna copper and aluminium. Okay. Uh, you can place both hands on. Place both hands. You can place them on. Anything is. It goes. Okay, take your hands off, take your hands off. So the reading was. Zero. So it's 0 0.1, 0 0.1 initially. Yeah. 0 .1. Okay, cool. 0 0.01, okay. Take your hands. Yeah, the reading turns into 0.6. Okay, so. Yes. So as you see that the blockchain moved from the body and came to take a reading. So I want to show from this experiment that uh, humans are not a human body can be. That's shown over here. That's copper. You put your place your hands up here. As long as you put it to the bottom, it gets to the aluminium. Okay, so um, you can see that. Mr. Kailani, you look like you've just come from a massacre. Okay, Dave, tell us what are, what are you doing today? Okay, you have four different experiments. Oh, Mushroom, that's right. amazing. Okay, what's the first one? Lava lamp. Lava lamp. Okay, what does the lava lamp involve? Uh, Move your hand out of the way so they can see it. Are you some uh, water inside and uh, oil. And okay. what we're going to do is put this.
this uh, secret ingredient. Secret ingredient? No, 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 no secrets in the science fair. Calcium? Calcium, it's not so secret. It's a, it's a, it's a calcium tablet. They call it effervescent tablets, aren't they? Yes. No. Uh, it will go. This is it will go. Gonna immerse it inside. Okay, immerse it, and it's gonna land right in the bottom. Okay. How is it? You can see the fizzing. The bubbles have started, yes, because it's the fizzing, and they're gonna put some drops of. Drops. Uh, okay, turn around so we can see it. Oh, no, you think? Oh, look at that. Now we're gonna see what will happen. Uh, when the food coloring reaches the water, oh, oh, that. oh, that's nice. That's yeah. stunning, mashallah. You got that? Yeah. Give him another jab. Beautiful, beautiful. The second experiment. Okay, can you, can, what's can crushing all about? It's all about you put water in the, in the this. And then some water will boil and uh, immerse it in the water and uh, the can will crush. Okay, I have to take care of safety here, so please stand back. Sir William, stay back. Sir William, show them this. Sir William. Omar, 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 Guys, go back, go back, go back. I'm sober, I'm sober. I'm sober, I'm sober. Keep your eyes on the can, boys. Keep your eyes on the can. Can you see the steam coming out of the can? No. Yeah. Look what we have. Stand back, stand back. Put it. Stand back. Oh! Yellow clock. Wait, wait, it's not over, it's not over. Now lift the can up. Watch, 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 watch. Water comes out. It's full of water. Absorbed a lot of water. Okay, Masha, look at that. Nice. Okay, so what is your experiment all about? We want to see if the... Sabah, um, Sabah, don't, don't demonstrate. If the temperature of the milk can change the dispersion. Okay, we're going to see if the temperature of the milk... So what kind of milk do you have? The three we types? Have, we have um, here um, full fat, low no, fat and skim. skim. Okay, are they, is the temperature of all the three the same? Yeah, oh, yes, no, no. because this is sit down the game. Over over the the this, we did a table down, about the temperature. Okay, what did you discover? We discovered that the more fat uh, the milk has, the more the dispersed and the higher the temperature the faster it dispersed. Excellent. So the higher the temperature the faster it dispersed, yeah. the faster the reaction yeah. and the more the fat the more the dispersion. So give us a demonstration. So what are you adding here? We're adding food coloring. The food coloring yeah, is here to, dem uh, yeah. show that, to show that the food coloring is actually, be, I mean, to show that the milk is actually being dispersed. Okay, the so, food, yeah, because otherwise we wouldn't see the dispersion. So the food coloring so we can see the dispersion occurring. Very good. So, um, it happens here, look, this is dish soap. Mr. Omar has a question, sir. It's getting sir. dispersed a bit. This is, um, <laughs> look, for now, because this happened because it was skim. It had low, um, low fat molecules. That's why it only dispersed a low area. The reason why it disperses is because the dish soap has a bipolar characteristic, which means that it has um, hydrophilic and hydrophobic sides. MashaAllah. Yeah. The hydrophobic means fearing water. It attaches into the fat molecules of the milk and breaks it down. Mumtaz, mashallah. But this project has uh, mathematics in it because we also measured the distance and the area of how much it dispersed. It has physics because of dispersion and chemistry because of the break, uh, breaking of chemical bonds. And of course, biology because the fat molecules are being dispersed. What an excellent project of combined everything in this project. It looks so simple, but it's actually quite quite amazing. Yes. Fat milk. This is low fat milk. I'm adding yellow food coloring to it. Orange. Blue. And green. Now, now uh, Zahi will put in the dish soap. Wow, it's so good. That dispersion. It's low fat, so there's barely. So there's very, uh, very little yeah. or no dispersion at all. The, it disperses, and also the dish soap is uh, running to catch the fat molecules. That is why, it, because there were only a few fat molecules, um, like the dish soap was able to catch the fat molecules. Now, if I fall on your and this is essence, actually, it's not food coloring, but it still works. But it's a bit. Um, Week. 
So that's why um, if we use actual food coloring, it would disperse a bit much farther. Whoa. Okay, you see the maximum dispersion. Now, this is whole milk. It has the most amount of fat molecules in it. So it's disperse. The dispersion is the most. Now look what we have. How much, my I thought efficiency, how much energy they use and how much energy they produce. So we have four light bulbs and a solar cell. Here we have the energy saver, fluorescent energy saver, tube lights, the halogen bulb and the usual normal bulb. Four types. And here's the solar cell that will record the energy. And the voltmeter will show how the real. First of all, we will test the energy saver. So why did you use this black material? So the light doesn't come inside, so the sunlight will not... Which are, uh, okay. So you have the light just from the bulb itself? Yes. Okay. So, yeah, that's one. So, it comes to the energy that's 2.67. Yes. Exactly 2.67. This one. Okay. This is a spirometer. This measures your lung capacity. How many liters your lung, lungs can take? From 1 to 3 is smoke. People think that's smoke because your lungs are small, small lungs. Why are the lungs small? Because they're full of smoke. is uh, nicotine and char. Yes. Okay, and an average now, as you see, is 4. 4, four, four to 5. That's you average. Try that? yeah. You can try. Ready? Yeah. What you're going to do, Mr. Is you're going to inhale as much air as you can okay. until you can't hold it anymore. And then you're going to exhale. Everything I've got. Yeah, inside the. Okay, take the ring. Really. Make sure the cream. Yeah, okay. Sure, yeah, okay. Deep, deep. Deep. How much? Five. 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 Oh, that's good. Five. Five. That's good. Five. Okay, so what's this project all about? Uh, it's a non-Newtonian fluid. Uh, non-Newtonian. What's a, what's a Newtonian fluid? If this is a non-Newtonian, what is a Newtonian fluid? A Newtonian fluid is a fluid that like, doesn't act like a uh, liquid. Okay, okay so normal fluid acts like a liquid. Yes. But this fluid you're saying doesn't? No. Okay, show us how. What do you mean? It acts like a liquid and a solid at the same time. So as you can see, I can put my uh, fingers in. So it's behaving like a? Liquid. Liquid. But when you punch it, Whoa. it's a solid. Mashallah. And the reason... All right, can I have a go? Okay. As strong as you can, you can. Put your You're finger. Not gonna... Well, I don't want to break the desk, you know. Put your finger. Yeah. 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 You're putting your finger. It's okay, how did you make this non-Newtonian fluid? Uh, it's very simple. Just uh, cornstarch with water. Uh, you always have to put double the cornstarch. Uh, I'll double the water in with cornstarch. Okay, corn starch with water, like mashallah. Uh, what if you slap it? <laughs> Same thing, okay, cool, mashallah. So I'm reacting a carbonate, or carbonating sodium carbonate. Raise your voice. Acid, it's the ethnoic acid, vinegar. Uh, yeah. It's a weak acid or uh, What happens yeah. when you react that with the ethnoic acid? I get salt, water, and carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide exerts pressure on the bottom of the side, which makes it fly out. Open and destroy. Open and destroy. Open and Step back. Step back. You will see it from a distance. You will see it. Yes, yes, you can do 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 it.